So um, when we talk about Adam and Eve being the first two um, people that God created, people ask me, well, is there, you know, genetic or biological evidence to prove um, their existence. And one of the things that's very interesting, I think, is um, looking at mitochondrial DNA, because mitochondrial DNA is only inherited from mom, okay? So it's, um, it's in the egg, and the sperm does not contribute mitochondrial DNA. It only contributes nuclear DNA. So mitochondrial DNA, that we have a small circular piece of DNA in the mitochondria. It's a part of the cell, which makes energy. And like I say, it's only inherited from mom. Well, what's really interesting is if you look at all in- individuals alive today, we um, have very similar mitochondrial DNA, very similar. Okay, there's very little differences. I always say, you know, my daughter, we adopted her from China, so I'm not her biological mother, but our mitochondrial DNA is very, very similar. Why? Because we came from one woman just about 6,000 years ago. And there's been some really interesting genetic studies that have been done by um, creation scientist, Dr. Nathaniel Jeanison, showing that um, when you look at those differences and we know the mutation rate and do those calculations, there's there's very few differences which confirms the biblical timeline of only 6,000 years. If it was the evolutionary timeline of when modern humans supposedly came on the scene, that would be hundreds of thousands of years ago. We would expect a lot more mutations, a lot more differences in the DNA, and we just don't see it. There's very few differences, so that confirms the, sh- the sh- relatively short time of only a few thousand years since Adam and Eve.